Okay, here we are. Last night, Nicki Minaj dropped Pink Friday. I say Pink Tape. <laughs> Pink Friday 2. I'm not listening to the whole thing. We're not putting this on the, on the plug channel. So those of y'all who reacted to all of it or watched, listened to all of it, hey, y'all let me know how it is in the comments. But uh, you know what we came here for. You know what we came here to do. Nicki Minaj, Let Me Calm Down, featuring Jermaine Cole. Bro, this dude, this dude is doing so many different side quests, but putting out, it's a boy, or without putting out the fall off. I mean, I know what he's doing, he's making his little, you know, but having a collab song with Nicki Minaj on her new... And also, before we get started with the video, I heard that Nicki Minaj cried multiple times before putting out this song, hearing... Um, Hearing J. Cole's verse on this track right here. So we, we in for a treat. We in for a treat. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Road to 5,000. Okay. We almost there, man. Let's keep it pushing. Let me calm down. Let me clear my throat. Uh, 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 uh. Right, let's go. Got panda bears? That's different. What is that, Japan? And hey, let me also say this too. Beast nice? Hell yeah. Let me say this too. Nicki Minaj is, in my eyes, the female goat. Yes, she is. Who's right behind her? Young M.A. All right? To my with rappers. Rappers. She is the goat in my eyes. Okay? Just want to throw that out there. Just, you know, all these new age little girls coming through trying to, trying to get the crone and trying to be the queen and all this shit now. Uh-uh. Nicki got it. Nicki got it now. Nicki got it. Bluffing, I almost hit him. He acting like I ain't always with him. My heart saying I love him while I'm screaming out I hate him. And ain't no more debate, and this time it's the ultimatum. I never forgot where I was at the first day I met him. Yeah, it was love at first sight, but I ain't never sweat him. I knew if it was meant to be that one day I would let him. Twenty years later, them decisions, I don't regret him. Just wish you would give me space when I really need it. To be alone in my zone when I'm really heated. Just cause I am quiet, don't mean you're defeated. Wish you ain't need me to feel like you're completed. Don't wanna say something. Oh my gosh! I spy my little eye. Not I spice, weirdos. Look at the top of the intercom. Look at look at the top of the TV on top of the train. Feel like you're completed. Don't wanna say something mean when I don't mean it. Gag City. Who gagging on that dick? <laughs> Nikki, if you can do one thing, if you can do one thing, you can influence these women. No, not, not the grown ass girls. You can influence these women to be women, okay? I, I know you've been on Instagram Live going live with them girls talking about, you know, your their man problems and their relationship issues and shit, trying to be a therapist for the, the hey, hey. Tell them start sucking some dick. Start gargling some basketball. Basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down my mouth. For the girls. Not, that was sounded really bad. Fuck. The, the women. I'm, the women. The women, y'all. The women. Focus. The women, I'm saying. A million missed calls. I don't want to talk. Just did a detox. Now I want to spark. All right, Asia. This cool, this cool. Until J. Cole. I 
I mean, she's in her mid thirties now. Haven't heard me for the fan of heart. She bad as fuck, but hard to deal with and it ain't a fault. She got ambition like the niggas in a vision for herself. So she can't rest until she feel like she done made a mark. So if you love her, then you gotta learn to play a part. Sometimes you gotta play the bet, but when you do make sure you play it small. All these niggas wanna so they hate it hard. They talking slick and make you wanna pull a rate at all. You like her lover, like a brother, like her manager, and A and R plus a therapist when it start raining hard. Her life was trauma filled it left her with a tainted heart. Yeah, you the nigga that she wanna tat her name across, but you need Mm. Tap my name on you so I know it's real. Tap my fucking name on you so I know it's real. Hey, what would y'all do if a chick that y'all was messing with for like a year, which is not the, not even a long time, you mess with her for a year and she get your name tatted on like somewhere that's not too visible, but like, you know, maybe like a little tramp stamp, <laughs> maybe thigh above the knee or some shit like that. Maybe the hand right here. What what y'all gonna do? <laughs> this is a very different. This is a very interesting collab, bro. I don't know how I feel about it right now. Patience and a lot of extra faith in God to keep the family together at a time when it's so regular to break apart. So God forbid y'all got a kid, therefore I hate the thought. It's you and her against the world until it ain't no more breath in your lungs. I'm just a messenger for God. It's who this message is from. I wanna send you my respect because I rep for the ones that hold their wifey down despite all of the extras that come. Where the ones with these silly niggas real shit. As if their life is somehow perfect and they never been plunged into a dark place. So I can't respect when it's done. It's family first through the worst, coming second to none. Real. Because y'all can't forget now, Nicki Minaj and J. Cole are parents. They are parents now. You know, we heard we heard their music when they were single. Right? And now we hear them when they parents. It's a, see, this, this is what Joe Budden said and what he meant whenever he was talking to Drake, dumbass. And he was saying, yo, make music your age. What's so bad about saying that? You are a dad now. I'm not saying, we're not saying you can't do certain things as a parent now, but you going to hookah lounges and messing with sexy red and having sexy red on the album and shit. Bro, that, it, it, that doesn't even coagulate. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't connect, bro. It's a seatbelt that don't want to buckle. It just don't work. Can't do that, dog. <laughs> So start making music for the listeners and viewers of your age. You are not that Drake anymore. You are not that Drake. I like this for the sole purpose of them talking about family, parenting, love, relationships, patience, gentleness. You're like, this is good. Yeah, he's a dad. Yeah. I think he got two, two kids, J. Cole. I think Nicki got one, if I'm not mistaken. J. Cello. I, I strongly dislike that word. But. I like this though. But all seriousness, all seriousness, shout out. Oh shit, and he got a song with Drake too? I did not know that. Okay, we're gonna react to that. But um all, all seriousness, Nikki still being in the game and still having her title and, and her level of notoriety. Like, y'all, Nikki, Nikki is a heavy hitter. So like across the board, features, solo, like Nikki is a heavy hitter, y'all. So the fact that she's still doing her thing, still repping the set, you know, we got we gotta respect that, bro, for what it's worth. You know, Nikki, give me a round of applause, girl. We will. You know, you you, you collab with Ice Spank a couple too many times for our liking. You know, the the little, the little fish stick TikTokers love it, but you know, as an actual rap hip hop fan and supporter, you know, especially of you, you know. I was like, okay, that's, 
And I know I was getting a lot of shit for saying that Nikki collabing with Ice Spank is to get more of her name back in the field because, bro, she was pregnant. She's dealing with, you know, relationships and her kid and the hormones and everything. So it's different. Ice Spank is literally, come on, come on. It's literally like Nicki Minaj messing with her daughter. It's like night and day. So, yeah. Nikki Golden for sure.